In this week's episode of the Beginner's Guide to Evernote, we're going searching. Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of my beginner's guide to working with Evernote. And in this week's Evernote episode, we're going to cover what I believe is Evernote's biggest, most powerful weapon out there, and that is Evernote Search. Now, I, in my day-to-day -day use of Evernote, use my premium account, and obviously in this demonstration, in this beginner's guide, I'm setting up an Evernote right from the very beginning, so we're using a free account. So as I was playing around with this, I was really surprised at how good Evernote's search is, even in the free version of Evernote. It is fantastic. Now, there's a few things you need to know about the search, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this week's episode. But also, I should point out that Evernote search is incredibly powerful, and you can get very, very advanced with the searching. Now, I'm not going to do that in this episode. This is really a beginner's guide. I just want to give you the basics of search so you can start using it, and then you can expand it. But I've done many, many videos on Evernote search, so you can just go through the back catalogue of Evernote of my Evernote videos, and you will find some very good episodes on searching. So, before we go any further though, I would just like to say, if you like this episode, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Evernote, and I'll show you how to search. Right, so imagine that you have acquired a lot of notes in your Evernote. Now, obviously, this is a demo account, so we don't actually have very many notes. If I click on all notes here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five notes in here. So to find something wouldn't be very difficult. But if you imagine that you had 50 or 500 or 5,000 notes, now you're going to be needing to have a look for specific notes when you're looking for them. Now this is one of the areas where Evernote really shines and although this is the free account, I actually now have three Evernote accounts, uh, two of which are premium accounts. This one as my demo account is a free account so I wanted to show you uh, because I'm, I'm guessing that most of you who are new to Evernote haven't decided yet whether to pay for the premium version of Evernote or not. So what I wanted to do was show you essentially the basics of search just using the free version of Evernote. Now, in here I've just collected a couple of extra ones in top of the ones that we've, we collected last time. So I've got uh, one here which is actually in my inbox. Now, this means that I've not actually added any tags and it's in other th it's actually in my inbox. Actually what I should do is show you from what it would do from a from a completely different window. So let's go to this one. But let's say I wanted oh yeah yeah I wanted to check that thing about Sean Connery. All I would need to do is type in Sean and now what's happened is here I've got the two items that relate to Sean Connery but I've only typed in Sean. And that's it. I've got they've come up. The the it's highlighted the words, and you can see it's highlighted it in all throughout the article. If I click on this one, it's going to shine again. It's it's highlighting the words where we've got the name Sean. So any note related to Sean is going to come up in my search, and all I've done is typed in Sean. So that's a word search that you can do. If I wanted to type in the rock, I have no idea if this is going to work, but I've typed in the rock. And sure enough, we've got the rock's training schedule, which is the one that I actually uh, used last week. Now, what you'll see here is it's actually picking up the word the. So you wouldn't need to necessarily put in the. So if I just remove rock, the, then it's just going to give me rock. And then found notes with this. And we've got quite a few things in here from what it's got or how it's finding the search. So we actually have quite a lot of things. And again, it's actually giving me suggestions as well, which is fantastic. And it's got tags. So that's one way you can just type your search into there. Another way is to hit Command J. And I love hitting Command J because now I can use this to search for anything. Now it does say switch to, and maybe this isn't necessarily the reason for using it. But I can type in here pretty much anything. So I can type in annual. 
and I've got my annual planning template which is a PDF that I've actually saved into Evernote so that's one here by the way if you want to ha get a copy of my annual planning template all you have to do is go to my website click on downloads and you'll be able to find it in there it is a free template that you can use to plan next year that's beside the point. So there's a couple of ways that you can do for search. So Evernote search is incredibly powerful. Now let's say that I want to save a search and yes you can, you can save a search. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in my uh, Sean Connery here and we're gonna type on that. So what I want to do though is I want to remove the S so I just want Sean Connery. So it hasn't changed the notes that it's found, but I want to save that one. Now you normally think that if I click here, it would say I can save that, but this just means I can save through different types. So I'm gonna say, but what I want to do is if I hit return, so now I've got this search is open. What I would have to do is go into file. Now this is how you do it on the Mac. So I'd go into file. So it's not in file, but what we have to do is we go to edit. Now this is one of my a criticism I do have of Evernote because this is just not logical and I know that it's actually different on Windows and I'm sorry but I've forgotten how to do it on Windows. What you have to do is go down to find and then it says save search. So you click on save and now I can say Sean Connery. So once I've typed that in I've got that I'm going to save that and that's now saved. So let's just clear out that particular search and what I do now is if I click on that I've got my save searches will come in here. So I could actually use another one, let's say exercise, because that's probably something that I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit return. So we've got the say the search into there. We go into edit, we go to find, and we send save search. And I've, this one is going to be exercise. So I type in exercise and hit OK. So now, as these notes will grow over time, and as I say, in my actual real Evernote account, I've got about 5,000 notes, probably 6,000. I never look at it, actually. And this is where the search function comes in. Now, one of the best things about your searches, though, is once you've saved the search, let's clear out that, you can now add that search to your favorite. So you just grab it from the save searches, you drag it over to your shortcuts, and you can just drop it in there. And now my exercise search is saved in my shortcuts and this will come through this will sync through onto your devices as well so there's a few things that you can do with searches and you can do specific tag searches you can do notebook searches and you but I find that the best thing for me when I'm using search in Evernote is I tend to use just by word search quite often it will bring me up the tag so as I say the best way for me and the way I found I use it most is just to hit the command J it brings up this a dialog box and I can type in pretty much anything I want so again if I type in my exercise so it's come up with search exercise it's come up with a tag and maybe that's what I actually want to search for so I can hit that we only have the one note in there at the moment and it's going to bring up the search so just to review that one because I know there's a lot to Evernote search it's one of its most powerful features you can search by keyword you can search by tag you can search by notebook and various things you can if you have the premium version you can actually search by uh, document type so if I show you what I as I say I, the annual brand planning template is a PDF so I could actually search by PDS but this is the free version so I can't do that with this version okay hopefully that's given you a basic understanding of search now Evernote search is huge you can do so much with the search function in Evernote and it's worth going into it in more details but usually the the most effective way or the best way to get out of search is be on the premium version and maybe you're not ready to take that step yet but anyway that's something I just wanted you to know the basic search itself is incredibly powerful okay well thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details, are in the show notes below.